We got some very interesting wording and data coming in from a few different sources, one of them including NASA. Yes, I know how a lot of you feel about NASA, but some of this information and data is very interesting about incoming asteroids that have been randomly added to a list of NEOs, near Earth objects, one of which quite literally passed Earth just two days ago and was seen over the skies of Ontario. Not only that, but we have a significant planet alignment taking place as we speak, which in the past is said to be responsible and could cause major earthquakes, as well as different changes on the Earth. My friends, we're going to take a look into all this information, which is now reaching news media sites, and we're going to break that all down right here, right now. Let's go. <laughs> My friends, welcome back. It is November 23rd, 2022. We are going to jump into this planet alignment situation and the relationship it has with earthquakes. And then we're going to get into this crazy asteroid story. So you are looking at a site called solarsystemscope.com. It's a website where you can see where the planets are going to be at any given time in the past or in the future. Now, I've made videos on this in the past, and it's been scientifically proven that when planets are in a certain alignment, specifically straight lines, they have been known to cause disruptions on Earth such as large earthquakes. Now for those of you that have been following me, we know that the Earth has been getting absolutely rattled with earthquakes, more specifically larger earthquakes, within the last week. Now I want you to take a look at something here. I have this set for November 22nd. These earthquakes even began before this, but over the last few days we've had some major earthquakes such as the one near the Solomon Islands, which caused a tsunami warning, and then the West Coast absolutely absolutely lighting up and we just covered a New Jersey earthquake which I'll have an update on later on because it's turning into somewhat a big deal. Now I want you to focus on Mars, Earth, we got Mercury behind the Sun and Venus. Now as I line us back up you're going to notice something as we move in through the end of November and into December, December 1st being the actual alignment date, you're going to notice that Mars, Earth, Mercury and Venus are basically in a straight line. Mars, Earth and Venus almost in a perfect line causing a situation we've seen in the past that leads to large earthquakes now check this out this coming straight from good old Google planets interact with each other influencing earthquakes via the gravitational stresses arising from the configuration of the solar system this causes a slowdown of the rotational revolving speed of the earth which in turn can affect fault lines now this doesn't take place when the planets are exactly aligned it also takes place as they are aligning it's almost as if you take two magnets and as you get closer you start to feel the force of the magnets before they're actually close together and that is the same thing these planets do so as we move into the date of December 1st and more than likely the week after Mars Earth Mercury and Venus are going to be in a direct alignment so we could very well be seeing the answers as to why these earthquakes are happening so frequently which makes a lot of sense because the Sun is also something that causes earthquakes when it comes to solar flares and CMEs but the sun has been quiet, so we can't say it is responsible for these earthquakes. But now noticing this planet alignment that was pointed out by one of my subscribers, Weather Sporter Tracker Radio. I'm going to leave their link in the description box. I appreciate the information. But seeing this alignment absolutely could explain these large earthquakes and why we are going to continue to see them into the future. As I'm sure you all know, we just had that large 6.2 in the Baja region of Mexico we covered. Not shown on this chart is the Oregon earthquake that took place just days before that and then just yesterday we covered this rare earthquake that took place in New Jersey near Cherry Hill which registered as a 3.8 to a 4.2 which could tie a 50 year record for that state's for that state's largest earthquake I'm also going to leave you a link for this website right here which goes into pretty good detail about how exactly the direct alignment of planets the more the direct alignment of planets has this direct effect on the earth's crust now we also have a very large uptick in volcanic in volcanic activity and that is also discussed in this article so again I can't stress enough that not 
only is the sun quiet, so we're not blaming the sun for these earthquakes like we do while we receive that solar wind, while the Earth's magnetic field gets pummeled with those solar particles from CMEs and sun flares. It makes perfect sense based on data and the alignment of these planets as to why we may be seeing these large earthquakes. All you really have to do is take a look at the last two weeks of 4.5 and higher earthquakes, and it is no secret that not only the common areas for earthquakes, such as along the Western Pacific, which is by far the biggest hotspot for earthquakes on planet Earth, but just taking a look at the United States itself, including the Texas earthquake that took place, that was felt in over a 300 mile diameter, and then of course the Blanca Fracture Zone earthquake off Oregon, the large 6.0 out in the middle of the Pacific, a super rare earthquake, and then four more significant earthquakes just within the last week alone along the southern west coast. In my opinion, this is just the start of a long stretch of seismic activity we're going to continue to see through the first week of December. And with these alignments is when we see those larger earthquakes. It's been documented in the past and will certainly be something you are going to want to keep your eyes out for. All right, we're going to move on to this asteroid situation. And for those of you that did not hear about this, you're looking at the article or at least one of the articles, a meteor over Ontario caught by global asteroid warning startles some with a loud boom. Now that loud boom is called a sonic boom. That's when meteors explode in the sky. We've talked about this many times on this channel, and this one in particular is part of a much bigger story, it seems. Very quickly, videos captured in southern Ontario show the moment a meteor flew across the night sky early Saturday morning. The meteor was about one meter in diameter, and it's said to be only the sixth time in history that a global asteroid warning caught the object pre-impact. Now, the word asteroid there is key. And this is why right here, 770 foot gigantic asteroid rushing towards Earth, NASA says is zooming at 48,168 kilometers per hour. This article came out not 24 hours after that meteor exploded over the skies of Canada and parts of the United States. And only then, not before, but after the event took place, it was then added to the list of NEOs. As I said before, NEOs are near Earth objects. And in particular, this one in orange right here, you could see November 20th. And then as you slide over, you see something called lunar distance. That's how far it was as far as the distance between the Earth and the moon. And then next to it, you have a measurement called AU, astronomical units. That's the distance between the Earth and the sun. And what's interesting about this is these articles are saying that this thing was much closer than this data is showing. This chart you're looking at here comes from American Meteor Society. And these are all the people that actually went onto the website and reported seeing this flash in the sky and then heard that sonic boom. This video here is just one of a few that actually caught this object. You're going to see it come from this direction right here and shoot in this direction. As we play it now, you're going to see a few flashes. That was the actual meteor exploding, and now they're calling this a meteorite, which means part of this thing actually hit the ground and people are searching for it. The links for these articles will be left in the description box, but what is being said is that these meteors were actually part of this gigantic gigantic asteroid that was basically not spoken about until after it already took place and then was updated on that NEO chart, which then over a day and a half period had 13 to 14 more asteroids added to the list. Now, I know a lot of this may seem like a lot of technical talk, but if you check this list, you can basically go all the way into next summer and next winter to see about incoming asteroids, which means they already have the data, they've spotted these things, they can see them, and the one highlighted in this light color are the ones that come the closest. But what's rare about this situation is the amount of additions that have been added to this list so quickly. It's rare enough to see one or two added within a month period, but to see 13 or 14 new asteroids added, I'll point it out here, basically we go from the November 20th event that took place over Ontario, all the way down to December 25th, basically Christmas Day, were all brand new additions added to this list within the last day and a half. Now, if you're still following me here, again, that event took place on the 20th, was then added to the NEO chart, and then look at this article on November 21st. This was well after the event took place. Another article being released saying that a terrifying stadium-sized asteroid is rushing towards Earth rapidly. So they are now talking about an entire new event that was not previously on the list or known by anybody. And now, as NASA always loves to do, we are left wondering what this asteroid is going to bring as far as space rocks 
Meteors, meteorites. Remember, a meteor is one that shoots across the sky, maybe flares up a little bit. A meteorite is the one that hits the ground. But with all these new asteroids now coming so close to Earth and being added to this list so quickly, it makes you wonder what exactly they found out there. Now, I'm not going to get into details about what might happen. I think we all know what might happen. But again, you got to take NASA with a grain of salt. I thought this was very interesting and a very weird way to put this news out to the public. But after talking to a few of my subscribers, I felt like I had to share this with you. All right, my friends, if there's anything you didn't catch, please go back and rewatch the video. All these articles and sources are linked in the description box below. Questions or concerns, please leave in the comment section. I'll gladly answer all your questions as well as I can. And that's where we're at for now, my friends. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. Shout out to Canada. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great night. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.